nobody has the clarity right now as to how to process these cases. You know, everything is sort of in flux. So even State Department consular officers who are working at these consulates, issuing these visas, aren't, they don't necessarily have the clear guidance right now as well. There's only a specific amount of visa spots available each year. So currently there are 65,000 H-1Bs available for those who have a bachelor's degree and an additional 20,000 spots for those who have a U.S. master's degree. However, last year and the year before, um, there was a lottery because over 200,000 people applied for these H-1B visas and there's only a maximum of 80,000 or 85,000 available. So even if you're qualified and even if you have the job offer, uh, more than two-thirds of the applicants aren't even selected for processing. EB1s are available to those of extraordinary ability who can demonstrate they've reached a very high level in their field, um, also for outstanding researchers and professors, and for multinational executives or managers that are being transferred from overseas in a high-level position over to the U.S. EB2s are the second preference, and those are available to those who have exceptional ability in certain fields or who have a master's degree. And then EB3s are for those who have a bachelor's degree or no degree at all. So they're for unskilled workers who are have an employer who is sponsoring them for a green card, um, but don't require somebody who has any sort of uh, level of education that requires a bachelor's or higher. The DREAM Act allows those who entered the U.S. before they were 16 years old to qualify for a work permit and travel permit. It doesn't necessarily give them a status, but it allows them to be employed and employers will have a, they can get a social security number and they can be paid. If you're filing for a change of status, stay here and do that. Try not to go overseas if you don't need to. With the more filings, because there's more anxiety, there's just longer waiting periods to get the final results. So the best thing to do is if there are opportunities to file any type of work visa cases or any type of immigration cases, it's best to do it sooner than you would naturally do it. Allocate you know, an additional four months to processing at a minimum. What I think will happen is I think that it, the U.S. will continue to want to bring in talent, right? We want the high skilled workers, we want talent. So I don't think that category of visas or green cards are gonna be immediately impacted. Uh, make sure that you get your information from a reliable source.